the sun is just rising over there through the Arthur Turner apple tree in my backyard on the 1st of September and I'm announcing a contest, first ever contest of this nature uh, on the, this um, channel. It's not openly open to subscribers, so obviously nice people do subscribe, uh, but it's to do with preserving the late summer and autumn surplus of fruit, whether uh, you've got a load of peaches like this, and we've got just two little peach trees uh, next to uh, the apple store to collect the sun. They're only small, but we've got more peaches than we can eat before they, they go past it, and that's just from two sort of small young trees that have only been in the ground for two years. And that's to say nothing of the massive surplus of pears that we're going to have. And of course all the little fruits which may be like this one have got a little bit of damage in them and you can't sell it, you don't want to give it away. But you can cut that out, you can eat it maybe, or you can preserve it in some way. Or maybe, again, ooh, you have bucket fulls, bucket fulls of plums that it's difficult to know what to do with. Now people have asked me for recipes for you know, preserving things, for making chutneys and jams, and I could offer some recipes. In fact, I have given one or two uh, in my Botley Man's cookbook, which is the text of which, um, the text of which is up on the uh, on my fruitwise.net website. Um, but I'm really, really busy at the moment, and I don't know that many recipes for jams and chutneys and. Uh, wine and all kinds of different things, dried apple rings, peach preserves, peaches in brandy. Uh, so I'm guessing that some of you people out there have got some good recipes maybe you got from your mother or your friend or somebody where you live. So here's the deal, I would like people to make videos uh, demonstrating in your kitchen I'm not just reading it out of the book, but actually showing something in your kitchen how you did it, uh, how you make preserves. You make some uh, peach preserves, raspberry preserves, apple and blackberry, um, whatever it is, I can't read this, but it says Boxing Day Chutney from December 2010, I'm not sure what's in there actually, I think it might have been a gift, blackcurrant jam, quince jelly, um, whatever, green gauge jam, August 2006, any kind of fruit preserve, not vegetable, the rules are, it's got to be a recipe, you've actually got to do it, you've got to make a video, video's got to be less than five minutes, preferably three and a half minutes ideally, um, uh, and uh, the, um, the pro no, nothing, nothing to do with vegetables, but anything at all, you know, someone's already done a recipe for, um, for uh, apple jelly, you can still do a recipe for apple jelly, just put a video up, uh, there'll be three prizes, uh, they'll be equal in value, um, now what I the main sort of thing I want to do is a £30 voucher for Blackmore Wholesale Nurseries. Check out Blackmore Nurseries. Uh, they do vouchers. A £30 voucher will allow you to buy one and a half or two fruit trees. You might have to make it up a little bit if you want uh, to get two fruit trees. Uh, but uh, they've got loads of wonderful, wonderful stuff. I highly recommend Blackmore. We had nearly all of our original trees from them and they're really good. Uh, they're, they're only, I believe they're only exported to the United Kingdom though, so if you're not in the UK that won't help you. So I will send you a book and you can choose either, I'll obviously have to buy it, I'll, 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 I'll mail order this to your address. The Apple Grower by Michael Phillips, wonderful uh, uh, American uh, apple and fruit growing book. Or the marvellous, marvellous The Apple Book by Roseanne Saunders. And be three prizes of equal value and how they will be uh, allocated. One of them will be the sovereign and non-negotiable decision of Julia and I, but particularly Julia will, will get to choose the video she likes the most. And there'll be points for attractiveness, um, believability, humour, straightforwardness, and above all for being a decent recipe that anybody can follow. Uh, so Julia will decide on one prize, another one will be decided by a draw, so if you put in uh, an entry, even if it isn't a very good one, uh, and then there's still an opportunity for you to win by, uh, by a draw, and the third one will be by a popular vote. And uh, how I'm going to work that out, I'm not sure, it might be, uh, just depending if we get 40, say if we get a lot of, of video responses, then that will be, uh, maybe I could say all those who voted 
going to vote for Urzu Prashi Port of India, I can have one vote. I haven't quite decided how to do that yet, but there will be a popular vote. So one's voted for, one's our decision, one's by uh, uh, a draw. And the time limit is the last day of September. So make a video, put it up, uh, demonstrating how to make some form of fruit preserve, any fruit, in any fruit whatsoever. Um, less than five minutes, it's got to be believable, it's got to be attractive, if it's humorous so much the better and um, uh, put a video up and send it as a video response to uh, this um, uh, video and um, we'll see the main purpose of this really is so that uh, we can share a lot of recipes for how to make late summer and autumn preserves to use up uh, the rat, the, um, the surplus of fruit, anything at all. Okay, so I look forward to the responses. And there we are, told you. There's the sunrise on the 1st of September, what a lovely sight.